I was just thinking about you and that delicious moment we shared the other night. The very same. I've had this condition for two centuries, but truth be told, <clears throat> you're my first. In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. Alas, it doesn't hurt to ponder the question, though. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined, like well-aged brandy. But the gift? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Oh. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. <sighs> Absolutely. A mere thought experiment. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? A fine choice. She is enticing. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Uh, there's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? That... that can't be. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Curious. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers. Unless... That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I 
just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet gods! I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Defender of the people. Best foot forward. Always a pleasure. Changer! No good will come of devouring a gay one, no matter what you might think. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? As you say, do not keep me waiting. Don't leave me in suspense. How are you feeling? No errant tentacles? No sudden cravings for a more cerebral diet? Wonderful. Advantages are a more precious commodity than I'd have hoped, given the nature of our predicament. I commend you on your willingness to take such a risk. Now, let's hope your new illithid fuel prowess tipped the balance suitably in our favor. Was there another matter you wish to discuss? With pleasure. Lead on.
Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. As thou desire. 